Hello everybody, it's July 1, it's Christine, and it is reveal day for Counterfeit Kit Challenge Blog Master Forgers. And so let me go ahead and show you the collection. It was actually based off the Mercy Tiara's, uh, I think it's called Groovy Kit, which is kind of cool because if I'm honest, I've been having a little bit of FOMO seeing people with that kit. And so when she put, picked this one, I was like, okay, okay, I can make this work, right? So the papers that are in the collection has a couple of Vicki Booten from the Where To Next. And I did just pick that collection up, although I don't know if I picked up these papers. Saturn, hold on just a second. Um, and so uh, I don't know if I have this one. I might have this one, but I didn't actually pull those because I kind of focused on this bit here, which is the Jen Hadfield Flower Child collection. And it's kind of got these sweet, like peachy, coral yellow, you know, like soft tones here. And then she does have a couple of these Maggie Holmes papers in here. And I kind of pulled in some of this too, but you'll see in a second the, the whys and wherefores. But let me show you the other little bits here. Um, I don't have this picked yet, y'all. I don't have this. I got to figure this out. I've got some titles and things, but I'll probably end up pulling from my stash. I have some yellow letters, but they seemed a little bit too bright. So I got to figure this piece out. I don't have this one covered. Um, there's the where to next, like ephemeras and stuff. Uh, there's these enamel dots. I don't know why I was going back and forth the other way. A bunch of these little frames, these little pink fresh frames. And then here's like a bunch of little like flower child, you know, um, hmm, says so those are stickers or probably chipboard stickers. So what I've done is I picked up at convention. I actually happened to pick up this Simple Stories Boho Sunshine. And so it has a similar look and feel as that Jen Hadfield one. So really happy with this. I'm going to use these. I'm so sorry. Hang on a second. And um, I love it because it is kind of a similar color palette. And it also has this kind of like retro feel, right? Because you got the peace sign and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to use this as kind of my like base little set. And I'm just going to kind of flip through here. I'm not going to make you sit and watch all of it because you can probably go find it. It's not a very old collection, I don't think. Nope, 2023. So it's fairly new. Y'all, my cat's in a mood. But look at all these cute little icons too. I could fussy cut some of these, which who knows, maybe, maybe not. Um, you can kind of see there's a bunch of little cut aparts, but it has a lot of this similar kind of look and feel. There's this gorgeous little vertical or a heart diagonal. I can't say the right direction stripe, which has some cute little things, small, big. So I'm really pleased with this. And there's a little butterfly. So again, the whole retro feel on it is what I'm excited about. Um, look at that. Good vibes. Love. That's so cute. And then I, that's a scrap piece of paper because I have broken it. I have broken into this and I do want to use it. Um, I'd already actually pre, pre uh, cut up some of these tag cut aparts off of this collection. So there's a bunch of those little guys. Then there's this sticker sheet. Then I went ahead and did pull from my stash a couple of other sheets I pull, I, I picked up at convention that have a similar color palette. My little rainbows here is the back of that little guy. Um, and then I found this, that's from Jen Hadfield, which is kind of cool. This is actually One Canoe Two, which they're no longer in business, I don't believe. I love this stripe, and it reminded me of the stripe um, that was in the Maggie Holmes collection, so I kind of like that. Here's this, uh, this kind of goes with this navy kind of, but it's also got this little neutral on the back, which goes really well with this. So those are my papers, kind of pleased with that. And then I got into my stash, I pulled out this Simple Stories stuff here. These pinks and stuff may not be the right, you know, color, but these ones would work good. Um, so I can probably, I think I can make some of this work like this 24 sevens cute right now. Some of this will work that little heart, those little hearts will go good. So I'll pick and choose out of that. Then I also have this, uh, hip kit club chasing dreams. I did like this little color of the letters here. And then there's of course some little words and stuff in here might work. And then the labels, I'm not going to suggest to you that that matches necessarily what's in the ephemera, but it's something to work with. Now she's got where to next. And so I've I got this little Cartabella Travel, Let's Travel. And some of the colors are gonna work pretty good. So I've kind of got that like wander and find, you know, there's some enjoying every moment, stuff like that. Kind of a fun times this way, that's really cute. I like the little camera. So I think I can make some of that work. And then y'all, I just pulled out a bunch of, here's a little hip kit like floral pack, but it's got this little butterfly and some flowers I think that'll go. Y'all, my cat, I don't know if y'all can hear the noise going on in the background. She is playing in a mood. She was yelling at me this morning. I don't really know why. <laughs> Um, this one has trail mix, simple stories, but again, the colors kind of go, I think, um, I may have to pick and choose, but I think that'll be good. Um, and then I have this little sticker sheet here. I forgot who this was and I don't really remember. Hmm. Y'all 
I don't remember. But again, it's kind of that travel theme stuff with the kind of, some of the colors that work. And then just a, other, a bunch of other little, like little rainbows and things like that. And then a couple little, this is actually from uh, Obed Marshall. But I saw this TV, which is kind of retro looking. So I'm going to have to pick through these. And then I picked out, I did go through some of my hip kit frames. And I picked out ones that I thought the colors might go. So these are from various different collections. So your girl's going to have to to work with these. And then in plus the enamel dots or for the enamel dots, I kind of found my storyteller, my sweater weather. I thought these might work too. This is from Bow Bunny. I do like these little arrows and things. This is going to be so fun to work with y'all. And then I have these little, uh, keep it simple. I don't know who that is, to be honest with you. But it says keep it simple paper.com. And I don't know if I've ever even heard of this. It's not very old. Oh, I uh, don't know. It's little buttons. So anyway, that is my kit, y'all. Oh, and I pulled these out. I don't know if I'm going to use these. And technically, it's not inspired by the kit per se. But it's these close to my heart. And they have I have the arrows, the hearts, and stars. And they're little small wood veneers. But I do like wood veneer with this kind of color palette. So I pulled it out because I do enjoy this with that. So we'll see how that works. But I think I have a ton to choose from. And I'm pretty excited about it. So, uh, that's my kit. We'll, uh, I'll have this up on the blog and all the good stuff and we'll see y'all this month. Talk soon. Bye.